That's video from downtown Fergus Falls earlier this afternoon. Streets were flooded out in the downpour as cars tried to make their way through. Thanks for joining us here at 5 everyone. I'm Courtney Lockie. That area and areas south of us aren't out of the woods yet. Our team is tracking the chance for some severe storms, including possible hail. Let's go right away to our chief meteorologist, Russ Thomas, for the very latest. Russ. Yeah, thanks, Corey. That's some unbelievably hard rain coming down there at Fergus Falls. And yeah, you're right. It's been pretty active this afternoon. Really start kicking up right afternoon. Now, the good news is we do not have any severe thunderstorms at this point in our region. That doesn't put us out of the woods yet. We could certainly see, especially later on this evening, potentially overnight, some more severe weather. We'll get to that in a second. Right now, I want to show you right between Fergus Falls, Alexandria, and then south of Alexandria, seeing little pockets there of some heavier rainfall. Take a look again. Flood advisory until 8:15. This evening, we've already seen anywhere from two to four inches of rain falling down in the area shaded in green, which of course does include the Fergus Falls area. In addition to that severe storm risk, that area in orange, that is where we have a advanced and advanced, I should say, enhanced chance of severe storms. Uh, pocket there in yellow, marginal, and then you get in the dark green. Uh, that's where we have again that marginal area slight for yellow. So again, you add it all up. I think most of the activity that we see remaining is going to be south and east of Fargo. Take a look at our planner 75 degrees. That's under a mostly cloudy to overcast sky right now. Wind of the north pretty strong 22 miles per hour. We're going to see clouds, some light showers over the next several hours off and on in Fargo. We'll see 71 9 p.m. about mid 60s by 1 a.m. tomorrow morning for Grand Forks. Your planner 72 degrees north wind at 12 miles per hour as we move through the evening hours. Again, opportunities for showers there. Uh, temperatures in the low 60s by 1 a.m. We'll have more coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Russ. Thank you.